Hello, uh, my name is Lindsay, and today we are here in Astro Renaissance. I want to show you guys how to do all of the quests today. And if I do miss a quest, let me know down in the comment section, because, you know, it is very possible I could end up missing one. And some of these quests in this video might be seasonal, like, for example, the Lunar New Year quest will be a seasonal quest for the Cyber Love Season, so keep that in mind if you are watching this video at a later date. So now we are going to come over here to the travel area and we are going to the Citadel of Cosmos. And now that we made it here, we are going to go straight this way and you are going to run towards this statue because the first quest we're going to do is over here. So we need to talk to Venus. And so for Venus, what we are going to be doing is finding a missing cat. So once you have accepted the quest, what you are going to do is run this way. So you are going to follow the street until you get to the subway. So just go where I go. So right here is the subway, so we do need to enter this area. So go ahead and come up here and now you're going to enter the Astro subway. And now that you entered the subway, what you need to do is get up high and you can actually see the cat right there. So you are going to need to jump up high. So jump right here and now we can grab the cat. Okay, so once you grab the cat, you now need to go talk to Venus and there's gonna be a jump cut right here because I'm a little embarrassed to say, but I could not figure out how to leave. So you're just going to come over here and leave the subway. It was that simple. And so now we are going to run back to Venus. And we are going to return the cat and we got a plushie of the cat so that is really cute so here is what it looks like it is your little astral friend it is adorable so now that we completed Venus's quest what we are going to do is come over here to our next quest and we are going to come over here and talk to Sapphire. And we need to help Sapphire find her stuff. So for the first item that we are going to find is over here in the cafe. So we are going to enter and it should be over here. So that is the first item that we are going to collect. So now we need to leave the cafe and we are going to go back towards Venus. And then once we get to Venus, there will be a park and we're going to enter that park. So we are going to come over here and again, you will see Venus and then you'll see this little park area. We are going to enter this park area. When to get to the statue, you're going to take a left and there will be some items on the table over here and we are going to grab it. Now we are going to leave the park. So we're going to head this way and you're going to take a left. So we are going to go left and we're going past Venus now and we are coming over here to this area and we're collecting the item right here. And so now we are going to leave this area and just go where I go.
that we found all 10 items, we need to go back to Sapphire and get our reward. And we got headphones. How fun. I love headphones. So now we're going to come over here. So you're going to follow this road and you will see the next NPC right here. So we are going to talk to, I believe the name is Dr. Flunkins. So now just follow where I go. So for the next quest, we are going to come over here to the ice cream shop and we will need to find some batteries. I think we're going to have to find 12 batteries if I am remembering correctly. So yes, we need to find 12 batteries. So the first one is over here and we are going to come over here and you will be able to see the battery. So now just go where I go.
So for our next quest, we need to go to the park. So we completed the Lunar New Year quest, and like I said, this one might be seasonal. So next we are going to do the Black History Month quest, and I believe that is seasonal as well. So follow where I go. So 
So now you are going to read this and you need to be able to answer the questions. And now we completed the quiz. So now that we've done those quests, what you need to do is come over here and click travel. And we are going to go to Celestia and do the Broken Hearts quest. And I did do the Broken Hearts quest a year ago. So I am going to put the footage of me doing the quest in this video for this portion of the video. So the footage you are about to see was filmed a year ago. Okay, so once you are here, you need to go through this little hole right here. And you're gonna have to wait for the dialogue to end before you go any further. Okay, so we need to find hearts. So we're doing the broken hearts quest. So there is one by spawn over here. It is in the bushes, it's hard to see. It blends in real well but it is right here. Okay, so now we are going to go this way. There are two by a spa and two by water. So I'm just taking this way as a shortcut and we're just going to keep on going. I'm going to click my shift lock. Okay, so here is where we need to be. You need to see this thing right here and we are at the spa. There's a bunch of ways to get here. This place is kind of a big circle. So I am going to come up to the spa and I'm going to go to the left of it first. And right here in the bushes on a rock, we got another heart piece. And now I'm going to go to the other side of the spa because there will be a heart piece over here in the middle of these pink flowers. Okay, so now we got one over here. So I find it the easiest to come over here and jump on this thing in the middle to look around. And it looks like I see it right there. You can barely see it. It's still hard to see, especially since it really blends in with the rock. So we need one more. So I'm going to come over here back to the spa and we're going to kind of look for this wooden house so I'm going to take this path right here and we are going to go up this mountain and we are again looking for a wooden house. So kind of keep a lookout for that. It is right here. So now I'm going to walk past this house because over here kind of by these crystals, there will be another heart piece over here somewhere. I done this on my alt. And so I'm going off memory from doing it on my alt, but it is over here. Okay, so I'm back at the house. It is not a wooden house. Looks like it's made of pillars. I found the heart piece though. So you need to be at this house. And again, I was right. You walk over here towards the crystals. I think I was just running too fast and that's why I didn't see it. Um, so it's right here. We passed it again. Okay, so now we found all of them. Okay, so now we need to place them somewhere and we're going to run back towards the spa. And this is where this thing right here in the middle comes in handy. So we need to get up here and we're going to place some right here. We're going to place hearts. Okay, so now we have a key and so we are going to come over here to the spa and we are going to use the key to open up the spot. So we're going to enter. And now we need to find a magical item and it is over here. So we're going to collect this scroll. Okay, so now we need to activate the moons. Okay, so I'm going to leave the spa now and I'm going to run over here because we have our very first moon we are going to activate. Okay, for the second moon, I just found it easier to walk along this area right here and keep going until I found it because it is in this area and it's just easier to run so you don't have to swim. And it is right here, so we're going to activate this one now. Okay, and the third one is hidden, but it is close by. So we are going to run this way to this mountain and underneath us is a cave. So we are going to drop down and in the cave you'll have a moon. So just jump to activate. 
Oh, it might be harder to activate jumping because you do have to hold it. Um, hold on, I'll figure this one out. Okay, I managed to do it while jumping. I had a jump and right when I jumped, I clicked on it. And if you're good at jumping, I guess you could jump on top of the moon and activate it that way. So now we really will be using our scepters because we got a boss fight to do. So follow where I go. Okay, so we're back at the house that I thought was a wooden house at first. So now we're going to follow this road right here. Until we come across these beware signs, watch out. Now we are going to enter it. This is a good time to get out your scepter. And this one may take a while. It's probably going to take me a while once again. I did it on my little account. It took me a while, but it wasn't very good. So it might take me a while again. So we are going to enter the boss fight and there are lasers so watch out. I don't even know if I'm hitting him right now. Everything's just a mess. Okay, we did it. I'm just going to stand here for a minute because I need to go feed my dogs and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we need to go and find some UFOs and fix them so now we're going to leave the cave that is not the door um where's the door i cannot believe i could not find the door actually that's a really pretty door okay we're going to leave okay so the main objective for this part is just going uh to the area that we spawned in with our ufo and we are going to fix it and i think i went the wrong way no i was going the right way okay Sometimes I get turned around, sorry. So, yes, yeah, so basically we need to go to the spawn where we crash because we are going to fix our UFO. Honestly, you start this quest thinking it's going to be nice and relaxing because you're finding hearts, you're bringing love back to this planet. But no, it's not relaxing, it's actually pretty terrifying. We fought a boss. Okay, so if you get lost, like I did a million times, but I'm gonna cut all of that out. Um, come over here to the cave where the moon is. So I'm gonna click E. And now we are going to Nade, I think is how you pronounce that name. And we are going to do the Thievery of Crystals. So now you can select a scepter if you have more than one. And now we are going to come over here and we are going to talk to this NPC right here. And we don't know the name yet. It is unknown. So now we need to find 13 crystals. So we need to come up here. So go up the stairs and follow this path. And pretty soon we will come to this platform. So we made it to the platform and now we need to drop down. And now we need to find 13 crystals.
what you want to do once you reach this area is look for that rip sign right there that is going to be very helpful and then when you find it you will see the crystal right here Now at this point, we are going back to the dock that we passed a few times, the pond in the middle with the dock. So this area right here, you can see the dock and you're going to go into the water like this. Okay, now we need to leave the water.
And now you will need to fight the boss. Really cool this game has boss fights, but you know, I could actually do without them. But it's really cool. So now that we got all 13 crystals, we are going to come over here and talk to the unknown person. And this quest gave us a free set. So what we are going to do is come over here. So this next one isn't a quest, but I'm going to show you how to get the halo. So what you need to do is come over here to Cosmic Adventure. And you're going to enter. And you do get the halo from Laser Tag. I'm going to show you where laser tag is located and then I'm going to plop in a clip of me getting the halo about a year ago because the laser tag is in a different location but the way you get the halo is the same. So once you enter this area you are going to come over here to laser tag. So once you come over here you're going to enter laser tag and now you are in laser tag and again how you get the halo is the same way so I'm going to put in an older clip of me getting the halo. Okay so I did go to a suggested location which is that blue pillar right there at the spawn point I was on the blue team this time. And I went over there and on the bottom I saw the star. It was kind of hard to see and you do have to click on it. So once you click on this star you have to go to the barrier. And I'm going to show you where the barrier is. Now the ladder for the barrier is on the red side. So go ahead and look where I went. Now you may have to dodge people's lasers. So you're going to come over here. You're going to need to jump on these crates and this pillar to climb up this ladder and through the vent, you get the halo. So that is all the quests here in Astro Renaissance that I am aware of. If I missed one, let me know down in the comment section. And please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that bell notification so you never miss when I post. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!